welcome. Thanks for joining me. We are looking at our fourth quantum number, and that's called the spin quantum number. So we got a bonus quantum number in a sense. What we find is when we have a charged particle and you have a moving charged particle, uh, they generate a magnetic field. And we find with electrons, they can align either with or against an external magnetic field, um, such as they would find in the structure of an atom. And those have values that are assigned plus one half and minus one half. But we want to depict where electrons are located, and so having to write plus one half and minus one half is a little cumbersome. So what scientists have come up with is to put an up arrow, or I often use a half arrow, for the plus one half spin, and a down arrow for the minus. So electrons within an orbital, so we use a line or a box or a circle um, to represent the orbital, electrons within that must have opposite spins in order to minimize their repulsion. So they would go in spins opposite like this. So remember the spins either going to be plus one half or minus one half and they're going to go in spins opposite. And Pauli called this ultimately the Pauli exclusion principle. And he, um, what he said is, is that no two electrons can have the same four quantum numbers. So for example, if this was a 1s orbital, both electrons would have n equals 1, both electrons would have l equals um, to an s, um, both electrons are in the same orbital, so they have the same m sub l, um, but we can meet the Pauli exclusion principle by making sure their spins are opposite. So now that means their m sub s differs. And so that's how we maintain that exclusion principle described by Pauli. So thanks for joining me. We're going to build up some fun models in our next videos.